Do you want to be cool as Lando? Well, you've got to learn Sabacc. I've never played before, so today, Emily from Hyperspace Props is going to teach us. Will I be cool as Lando, or will this Twi'lek take all my money? If you want to learn how to play Sabacc, let's go. All right, I am here with Emily from Hyperspace Props. I don't know how to play Sabacc. Neither do a lot of you out there. You've told me. So Emily is going to show us how to play Sabacc. So Emily. I'm so excited because it's my favorite game ever. So. Okay. Why is it your favorite game? It's the epitome of Star Wars, I okay. feel like. It is the underground, underbelly scum. It, it's, it's just, it's been there since the beginning, even if you don't know it, right? Well, if Lando is cool and he plays Sabacc, I, I want to be as cool as Lando. 100% agree. Let's do this. 100% agree. Okay. So there are three variants of Sabacc out on Earth currently okay. that we know of. I'm going to be teaching traditional Sabacc right. today. So, traditional sabak. the goal of traditional sabak is to get to 23 as close as possible without going over. All right. Also, negative 23 without going under. Okay. So, each one of us is going to get two cars. Now, before you look at them, we have to pay the ante. So, those will be your chips right there. All right. Okay? And we're going to do increments of 1, 5, and 10. Got it. Keep it easy. So, to, our ante is just going to be one bronze coin. Okay. And there are two pots in sabak. The Sabak pot is where we put our antis in, and you only win this if you get 23 exactly. Okay. And then our bets go into the hand pot, which the person who gets the best hand wins. Okay, great. Let's do this. Now, left of the dealer pays the blind, so one bronze coin into there from you. All right. No, so bronze. This yep. Is, that's it? Yep. All right. We'll move these real quick. Okay. Now, let's look at our cards. Go ahead. I can look at both of them? You can look at both of them. So the goal is, again, to get to 23 or negative 23. All right. Now, in Sabak, there is three rounds. All right. There are three rounds. The first round is the betting phase, which you've started okay. with this. The second round is making our hand better, the okay. trading phase. And the third round is the dice, which I will explain in a moment. Okay. So you've started the betting. I have. And I'm going to call that. Now you can raise it or check okay well i don't know the cards that's okay so i don't know what to raise so can i just tell you what i have yes you may okay yes, you so may. i have a 13 and a 7 okay so add it together okay so i have 20 math yes. so i have 20 that's actually a pretty good hand okay great okay that's a pretty good hand okay great so but this is where you can play up you can try and raise it or you can just be like you know pretend like you don't have a good hand right. and just stay so or... i'm betting against the fact that she has less than 20 am yes, i right exactly. all right so I am gonna raise you. So I'll raise you another bronze coin. Sounds great. We'll make it. We'll make it a slow bet. All right. Hold that. Sounds good. Okay. Now Which makes me scared because she called it right away. She didn't even think about it. Thanks for stopping by. It's house money, right? All right. There we go. Okay. So for the trading round. Okay. What you can do. This is where you make your hand better. You can either draw a card. Okay. Or you or. can discard and draw. Okay. Or stay and do nothing. I have 20, so I'm going to stay. stay yeah. I'm going to stay. The biggest thing is you can't just discard. Okay. okay. You can't get rid of any cards like that. I am going to draw. Mm, makes it interesting. Okay. This is, I'm wondering how to play now that I know what your hand is. Like, that's going <laughs> to be, that's going to change things. Okay. Now, the dice face. If you want to zoom up on that so you can see those symbols better. But... If those symbols match, that calls for a shift. Okay. And we discard our hand and get a new hand. Okay, so it's so a, it's I a roll, complete shift. Yes. All right. So if I roll, we lose that 20. Okay. Half. All right. And they have to match. They have to match. So they don't match. No shift. So we stay the same. Correct. All right, cool. I like this. Now we go back into betting, trading, dice. Okay. Betting, trading, dice. Okay. We keep doing that until... On the trading phase, somebody thinks they have the best hand and right. they don't want to risk losing their hand anymore. All right. And they call Alderaan. And then we finish the trading round. So so what, what happens it, to make you call Alderaan? You think you have the best hand and you want to finish the game. That's called Alderaan. Yeah, you want to say Alderaan. That's called okay. the game. Okay. Yep. All right. And then we finish the trading round. So like if you called Alderaan, it was, I would still have a turn left right. to do it. So I'd finish my turn and then you would reveal your hand. and we. Yes. Okay. I feel like I'm running my Lando streak right now. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling like I'm going to win the Millennium Falcon. I'm going to bet pot. Yeah, I'll call it that. All right. The, 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 this is a heavy looking pot right now. All right, so. Trading. So we did betting. 
and now trading round is yours. So you can stay or Alderaan. I can. Or... I'm gonna call Alderaan. Gonna call Alderaan. Yeah. Okay. This is making me nervous. She is. So, um, oh, cool. Twenty. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, we all know what you've got. Twenty. Already. I've got twenty. Okay. I did have nineteen. Okay. I did have nineteen, so I'm like, okay, well, I gotta risk it. Nineteen is not the best hand. So now you have seventeen, right? Yes, I do. So Sabak. Yep. I, you get that, but do you have twenty three? Which you that tells you which number. Right. Oh, so you don't get that. I don't get that. Yeah. Okay, great. So, so this can build up quite a bit. So twenty. It, I have to yell out Sabak if I have twenty three. Yes. Perfect. So now I know how to play Sabak. Thank you so much, Emily, for teaching me how to play oh, Sabak. I'm gonna take all these winnings and buy something around here. Don't know what yet. So if you want to go to Hyperspace Props, and can people learn how to play Sabak on Absolutely. Hyperspace Props? We've got blog posts on there. We've got YouTube videos explaining it. Right. But also, so our favorite is traditional. I think that this game is all about community, so it's great that you guys built the community. So thank you for teaching me how to play Sabak. Absolutely. If you found this video interesting, please hit that like button. And to see more Star Wars content, please subscribe. To make these videos possible and show your support, there are two ways. Join my community on Patreon and get some amazing perks. Or join my membership right here on YouTube for amazing perks as well. You can also visit thepadawancollector.com to get merch, collecting checklists, as well as bonus content. I thank all my supporters. You make these videos possible. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video. Or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.